name is Søren Lindsay Christensen. I work at the Danish Embassy in Jakarta. I've been posted here since August last year. I work here to facilitate cooperation between the Indonesian and the Danish government on energy issues. Indonesia has showed a very strong commitment at the COP21. The ambition for Indonesia is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions with 29%. We can see that there's an urgent need for a strong and innovative partnership. That's why Denmark, we think we can contribute and work together with Indonesia in achieving the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions with 29%. Denmark has always been a front runner at the COPs. Now we also take it to the bilateral level working with Indonesia and that sets a frame for our cooperation and that's why we are here and have a strong presence to work with our partners to share our experiences, to formulate policies and to develop new regulation. We work with the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, we work with the National Energy Council and we work with the state-owned power company PLN. Our cooperation is a three-year program. We have focus on three main topics. We work on energy modeling, we work on integration of renewable energy and we work on energy efficiency. The reason for that is that's where we have very strongholds from the Danish side and where we have a lot of Danish experiences. We have had holistic energy planning for the past 40 years and we have gone from being basically relying on fossil fuels, oil from the early 70s to having 30% renewable energy in our inner mix today. We have an ambition to be fossil fuel independent by 2050. Those experiences and our ambitions we would like to share with our Indonesian counterpart. Coming back to the energy modeling, we work on how can you accommodate and how can you look forward to accommodate 23% renewable energy in the energy system in Indonesia by 2025. That takes skills and knowledge on how you look into your power systems. You look into different technologies, you look into their cost, you look into the operation and maintenance, you look into a lifetime. And often it shows that renewable energy can actually be competitive vis-a-vis -vis, uh, fossil fuels. Secondly, we work on the integration of renewable energy. When you want more fluctuating power in your power system, for instance solar and, and wind power, you need to be able to have good forecasting, you need to be good to be modeling, and, and have grid codes that shows how can you integrate the wind power and all the solar power into your power system in order to have a stable power supply. Of course, to the benefit of the consumer, so they don't realize whether we have wind power or any other source of power. Thirdly, we work on energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is extremely important. Indonesia has a target to reduce energy consumption by 17% in 2025. We would like to share our experiences, our knowledge, for instance in the industry, what can we do, how can it be done, what are the policies and the measures, the regulations that need to be in place to raise awareness and, and, and uh, understanding that energy efficiency can be done, often actually in a very easy way, you just need the technologies and the understanding on how to do it. We have those experiences and we would like and love to share them with our Indonesian counterparts. This is really exciting to work at the Danish Embassy. I think with, with this new government to government cooperation, we can bring our cooperation and partnership to another level in response to the demand and needs of Indonesia in the 21st century.